Hello, children. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about inclusion. And to help go over inclusion, we're going to be reading a book called The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates and Juniper Bates. As well, at the very end, we're going to be hearing from Mrs. G and her thoughts on inclusion. So, enjoy. The Big Umbrella By the front door, there is an umbrella. It is big. It is a big, friendly umbrella. It likes to help. It likes to spread its arms wide. It loves to give shelter. It loves to gather people in. It doesn't matter if you are tall or hairy or plaid. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. Some people worry there won't be enough room under the big umbrella. But the amazing thing is, there always is. And there's always room for more. Now when you look at that book, one thing that we can also look at is what it might be like to be outside of that umbrella. Where it's kind of cold and wet, and the emotions we might be feeling feeling kind of left out, feeling kind of hurt. Now, why I like this book so much is because that big umbrella is what we want our school to be. Now, under that umbrella, there's enough room for everybody, no matter if we agree with each other or even understand each other. But the point is, we can find a way to make everybody fit under that umbrella. And there's an easy way to do that in our school, and it's by being open. Now, how we can do this is by asking questions and getting to learn about each other and getting to learn how those differences that we all have are what come together and make our community as great as it is. Now we're going to hear from Mrs. G. Hello children. I miss you. I also miss Mr. P who just read you a book on how to be inclusive, how not to leave anybody out and how that can sometimes be a form of bullying if it happens over and over again to the same person. What I want to just add to that is um, instead of focusing on the being left out part, I want to focus on the being an includer part. So how do you be an includer? One way to be an includer is to notice your surroundings. So you, when you take a look and you look around and you see that there's some kids who aren't being asked to uh, participate in the fun activities like Foursquare at recess, um, or if you see somebody who um, isn't easily getting a partner to work on their projects with them, it's everyone's responsibility to notice that. And what I'm asking you to do is, as an includer, is to invite them to participate in those fun activities or work with them on those projects um, so that nobody feels excluded. And we will all feel excluded at one point. So that's why it's important for all of us to be includers. And then the second part is step out of your comfort zone. Get to know people who um, are different than us. So people who have different skin colors or people who have different set of beliefs, people who have different abilities, people who have different genders, whatever the difference is that is obvious, um, get to know those people. Because I think what's going to happen um, is you're going to find out that in, in getting to know people who are different than us, there's a lot more that is the same. And usually the things that are the same are the more important things, like our hearts and our minds and our compassion 
in our fears, in our hopes, in our dreams, in our desire to be liked and loved and cared for. So um, when you're an includer, you get to learn all those important lessons. So that's my two cents, and I hope you're all doing well.